Newcastle Building Society Boardroom Challenge has been running for six years. What we do is go out into the local community and get local primary schools to interact with each other in a competition where we have a thing a bit like the Dragon's Den. The winning team will receive £500 to put whatever event they've created on with. They also receive £500 to put towards anything they wish in the school. So our project is to do a go-kart race around the schoolyard for the charity so they can raise money. The people from the school in each year group are going to design their own type of artwork. I've been presenting a talent show competition. It's such a fun thing to do and it'd be fun for parents to get involved because that's what they used to do when they were younger. I was nervous but it was great. I think we have a big chance of winning. It was quite scary but I just wanted to like show them all the things that we're doing on my PowerPoint and just do it really good. I think everyone in our team is really confident with our idea and we've all tried hard enough to deserve to win this. I feel like it went like, quite well because of all the practice that we've done and all of the people in our group were all, were all proud of each other. Everyone's had so much fun and it's really been nice to have a chance to do it. When I saw them walking in, I was just so proud of them. All of the hard work that has gone into this has really paid off. To see them at such a young age, going in there and, and talking in front of all these people and the mayor and everything like that, it's, it makes you feel very proud. I went online, I searched a charity born free. It was pretty hard touching. I was like, I want to help this charity out. We're doing it for the Woodlands Trust and we want to raise a lot of money for, for them to get a tree to everyone who lives in the UK. We're selling the CD for Save the Children and the, all the other money for the actual talent show is going to Daft as a Brush. We've had seven brilliant presentations and you just make it so difficult for us. And we are honoured and delighted of just how hard you've worked. So thank you so much. It is with great pride that I announce Throckley First School as the winner. I nearly welled up actually coming out because it was amazing to see their progression, and especially in the in the actual boardroom with those professionals. They were fantastic. I'm really, really proud of them. It's been one of the best experiences that all of us have ever had, really.